everyone, Sora Nara Rocks is here, and I hope you guys can see me. Um, I apologize if I'm sweating or something. I actually just got out the shower, so it's a little hot in here. Um, just got in from the gym, and I wanted to make this video before um, I released my Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, review, which I'm supposed to be working on right now, uh, but I just had to make a video about this because I was... Um, really excited about this. Uh, so I didn't record my initial reaction this time like I did with uh, Kingdom Hearts or The Jungle Book. Uh, but I will give you guys my thoughts on it and, um, and uh, my reaction after the reaction for it. So when I was told that there's going to be another Far Cry, I, you know, it's inevitable, especially when you're working with uh, Ubisoft here. Um, there's always going to be one, another one within the series, but I didn't think it was going to be this early. Um, and I shouldn't be surprised this is the same company that gets, somehow gets out an Assassin's Creed game every freaking year. We got one coming out next week on the 20th, so what the hell. <laughs> and hopefully I'll get a chance to review that. If I don't, whatever, I, just, my, I might just make like a small video about my thoughts on it or something. Um, so yeah, I am actually new to the Far Cry series. Um, this is actually the first Far Cry I brought. This is uh, Far Cry 4, obviously. And... I, so I'm not like a, a big fan or, well, I shouldn't say, I do like the game. The game's fine, you know, I'm going to talk about it in a second. Um, I, I'm not like, you know, all been into the series like, oh, I've been there since the second one, or I've been there since the first one. I was there, I started in the third, no, I started on the last one. So um, I came into the series expecting, you know, expecting a lot um, because the third one got a lot of praise and it should have. It was a pretty good game. So, when the fourth one came out, um, and I just got this, like, literally a month ago. I Sadly, I still haven't beaten it. I haven't had time. I've been playing Metal Gear a lot. So, I haven't really been putting enough time into it. Uh, which, which is a shame, because it's not a bad game. You know, story-wise, eh, we can argue that. We can debate that. I think it's pretty mediocre. Some people might like it a little bit more. Um, and there's no doubt in my mind that Far Cry 3 was the superior Far Cry and possibly the best out of the series so far. And uh, people people have already made the comparison that Far Cry 4 just feels like a reskin of 3 and much respects. It's still the same old thing. You're still going and taking down towers and stuff like that. The hunting mechanic is still the same. And there's nothing that, that, that's really that's really changed. And it and people was hoping from a big leap from Far Cry from Far Cry 3 to Far Cry 4. To be honest, the DLC Blood Dragon was possibly a better Far Cry 4 than Far Cry 4. Uh, but anyway. Uh, with that being said, excusing DLCs and expansions, um, they released a trailer, I think about a week today, of Far Cry Primal, which is going to be the next Far Cry game. So, it's not named Far Cry 5, but Ubisoft always has the habit of doing this. All the Far Cry games are not really connected, so they all have followed their own narrative and story. Uh, but Ubisoft also has the habit of doing this with their titles as far as numbering and naming them. So, like, you have Assassin's Creed uh, 3, then you have something like Rogue or something like that, and then uh, Unity or whatever, and then, oh, here comes Assassin's Creed 4, like, what the fuck? Like, there's no Assassin's Creed 5, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, then Assassin's Creed 5 would possibly be the next one or something, even though we're, like, on the eighth game, you know? That sort of thing. And Ubisoft have always been you know, prone to do that sort of thing. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I have no idea why. Um, but they like doing it, and it's fine. It's fine. Uh, with the Far Cry series, nothing's really connected, so th it's okay to do that, I think. Um, so Far Cry Primal, I guess, you know, you can kind of call it Far Cry 5 for now. Um, is DLC better contain dinosaurs? So with Primal, we have it taking place during the Stone Age where we have uh, woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers and everything like that, and that is a fantastic idea. That is such a stroke of genius. Okay, I have to give it to these Far Cry games. They always have the habit of picking these very interesting locations, and none of the locations feel as though... Um, as though they could, they they would work, you know, especially if you're pitching this to like a board or something like that. Like, oh, we should have it take place in the Himalayas or something. What? Is that really gonna work? And it actually turns out to work. Or we have it take place on a, a tropical island somewhere, and it turns out to work. Or in the fields of Africa, and it turns out to work. And I have to give it to these games. They they have a way. Even their DLCs have a way of 
taking these locations that you didn't think would work and with other games or with other companies and they have a habit of actually making them very interesting um, even if we can like I said even if the story can be mediocre or possibly good in Far Cry 3 or something like that or it, and it can let you down towards the end or something whatever uh, like I said you can debate about the story all, all you want but um, there is no doubt that they always manage to take these interesting locations and fill them with interesting things to do um, even if four and three are mostly the same <laughs> so that that's really that's really impressive so here when I saw the trailer I was like this is very ambitious I don't think I've ever seen a game so far that just took place in just the Stone Age itself. Okay, there's probably some PC games or something like that. I I am not a PC player. I'm a console player. Like like you can see, that was PS4. You know, I'm a console player. Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. Uh, Nintendo, whatever. Um, so I I don't play like a lot of PC games unless they come to consoles, unless they be on PlayStation Plus or something like that. And most of the time, it's my friend that's actually buying them. He just lets me borrow them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I mean, I, I've, I've never, I never known a game that actually just take place in that, just that era alone by itself. Okay, there has been um, stages such as in games like Crash Bandicoot, Sly Cooper, or Spiral, and I think possibly the Mario games, where there will always be like this stage that will take place in a certain time period, in a certain stone age, like, like, Crash Bandicoot, uh, I think it was Crash Bandicoot 3 or something like that, um, Warp in Time or something like that. Uh, then you have Sly Cooper Thieves in Time that also had to take place during like the Ice Age or Stone Age or something like that, but it was always one stage. It was never a full game based around that sort of thing. That is so smart. I, I, I'm sorry. Just for them picking this location alone and actually having a trailer that's interesting. Ubisoft, I gotta give it to you guys, man. Really impressive here. Really impressive. I, I doubt they're gonna see my little video, but um, that's some really impressive stuff. And how are you gonna pull it off? <laughs> now that that's what I really want to know. How how exactly are are you guys gonna pull it off? Okay, you know, weapons. I guess you're gonna have knives or and spears and stuff like that. Not really much to go on there. Not really much I can think of. And it seems like they do have this down pat, and they're really, um, they're really looking forward to this, and how the reception is going to be for this. Already from right, right now, from what I'm seeing, just from that trailer, it's like I had to share it with people. It, it was, it was so well coordinated. Let me, let me just do, let me just say that. Um, I have no idea what the story is going to be about. Looks like the characters aren't going to be speaking la English language while wow. they aren't going to be speaking a language uh, they are going to be speaking English they're going to be speaking whatever caveman talk I'll baga 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 people are, have already made fun of it by the way but hopefully there will be some sort of subtitles or things like that that can help us understand what the hell they're saying <laughs> Uh, because there wasn't any on the um, on the trailer, so I thought that was that was a little bit weird. It, it would have been nice if they was able to translate that. Um, but from what I can gather, there was hunting mammoths and anything like that, and a saber tooth tiger comes out of nowhere. And uh, I have no idea what the story's going to be about. I hope it be very investing. Uh, Ubisoft always has the habit of doing two things. One, not really making their main characters very interesting, and this goes for all their games, you know, Assassin's Creed 2. Um, this goes for all their platform games. It, it's just, it, they never have, they haven't had an interesting character possibly since Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. And, oh, and um, Edward from Assassin's Creed 4, he, he was a pretty good character too. Um, but most of the characters that you play as are just there as basically filler and you mostly put yourself into those situations rather than um, say you know it would be more interesting if I was there <laughs> than it was this guy he, he just feels they just feel like sort of like a mortar just for um, just for you to control and just do whatever the hell you want um, so not not really good main character hope they get a good one this time even if he is a caveman <laughs> um, Side characters. Side characters they have always done a little bit better on. Um, Ubisoft has had the habit of making side characters as well as certain antagonists um, interesting. Uh, but it's never normally the main antagonist. It's always like one of the bad guys out of out of like the main bad. You like you always have the main bad guy who isn't that interesting in a Ubisoft game. Um, except for Assassin's Creed 2 once again. <laughs> Um, so Assassin's Creed 2 was good. It, was, it, it had like literally everything. Uh, so you, so you would have like 
let's say you take Vaz from um, Far Cry 3, and, like, he wasn't the main bad guy there, okay? He actually worked for the main bad guy. He was the, um, the, the secondary antagonist, and that's fine. Uh, that's fine, but um, once you got down to the main villain, he was kind of bland, and that's... And that's how Ubisoft has, has the habit, as, mm, excuse me, can I speak, has have the habit of doing that. And I hope they can improve on that now. Um, same thing with side characters. Uh, Far Cry 4 has this problem a lot. Um, very good main villain. Really good main villain. Um, of course, played by Troy Baker, who's fantastic, but not really much of him in the game. Um, besides, like, dialogue and things like that. Um, but you don't really see him as much. It's not, like, reoccurring or anything like that. Uh, but most of the main villains don't be reoccurring in the Ubisoft games either. Um, but good main villain, possibly one decent side character in here who's kind of funny. Uh, once again, rarely sees him. And that's it. Everyone else is pretty much bland. They're pretty much a bore. <laughs> and <clears throat> uh, that, that's the problem. And I hope... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I hope whatever story they actually manage to go through this time that they are able to have um, some interesting characters, even if they just go ooga booga. <laughs> uh, something. I don't care if they say ooga booga, ooga booga, the, the, oh, 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 repeat that over and over. Put fucking subtitles there to where it's like a paragraph of what they're saying. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh, there better be an Ice Age Easter egg in here too, by the way. Um, I'm going to be really pissed if there is not an Ice Age Easter egg in here. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's it. Um... I just had to talk about this, just really quick, just to say how much, how genius this is and how very ambitious this is and how this can go very right or very fucking wrong. <laughs> um, but this world that they seem to have created, uh, this prehistoric world, uh, it's, it's just, it's beautiful, man. It really is. And this idea of just like full-on survival, no guns, no modernizers, this is something that even... I don't think Rockstar themselves, who are the masters at open world games and, um, you know, the Grand Theft Auto series and things like that. I, I wouldn't even think, as well written as those games are, I wouldn't even think they would there, there to do something like this. And actually, no game, in fact. If there's any game out there that actually took place in, like, a Stone Age time period for the entire game, Please somebody let me know somehow, some way, because I've never seen that before. So this is going to be really interesting. Huh. Okay, that that's it. Um, and hopefully it can turn out to be a better Far Cry than Far Cry 4 was. I have nothing against Far Cry 4. I like it. It's just, it's just, you know, with all the hype that the Far Cry series has gotten, I have to go back and play 3. I actually just brought Far Cry 3 from Amazon yesterday, so hopefully that might be better. Um, so... Yeah, guys, that's it. Um, Far Cry Primal. Go check out the trailer. I'm going to possibly put a link in the description box. If I don't, whatever, type it into the search somewhere on Google, YouTube, or whatever, wherever the uh, video is being shown. And check it out. Check it out. Um, and just, like, give your opinion about it. Everyone's possibly already seen this. This, is, this video is, like, a week late, but I do apologize. I literally just saw it the other day. I'm not kidding. I literally just saw it like a couple of days ago. I didn't even know that they released this. So, uh, there's a lot of things I haven't been, all, been up on. Um, I've been tired lately, so... <laughs> I haven't been making videos a lot. So, um, yeah. Um, I, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Hopefully, they can pull it off with Endgame. Okay, so, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Well, possibly the Metal Gear review. I'm going to throw that up after this video, so I'll catch you guys in that. Take care.